Got a new project dropped off here. 1971, it's three quarter ton, and it's got a good look to it. It's straight. Dealer install AC, four speed, man's mission. Sloppy steering, we're gonna see what we can do there. Cool engine, We've got an FE block. I wasn't sure if it was a 360 or a 390. Possibly power brake, a disc brake conversion up front. Uh, we're gonna go through, just make sure everything's reliable. We're gonna install the AC in some way, shape, or form. See how she runs here. Got a little exhaust leak on this side. here and these are just like a uh, they look like a standard GM style late model caliper for like a I would say a one-ton truck so they're probably built real similar to those nice set of pads in there so we got that Lug. Yeah, there's the other caliper bracket. We've got all of our bearings, washers, spindle nuts. That's good. The other bracket for the driver's side. Brake hoses. Pretty complete kit here. Thinking nothing else besides fluid, and this should be our booster. So the guys over here with the SS brake. They uh, when I talked to the guy about a booster, I was kind of honest with him. Told him it's kind of expensive, and he said, "Well, theirs is different because they use a double diaphragm. It's made to work." Really, really good to have you a nice pedal feel, nice stopping ability. And just talking through everything, they kind of talked me into it. Yeah, here, there's the booster and brake master. All that with the proportioning valve, it's got everything all together. Okay, here's something. Got the bushings pressed into this spindle here. And just use a bushing driver to pop them in. Now something, Kingpin's old school tech, um, things aren't made to fit perfect. So what you got to do is you've actually got to hone those bushings to fit that new Kingpin. So what I've got here is this small hone. And I'm not going to get this on, on uh, video because it's just an arduous process of Put it in there, hone it, check fit it. Put it in there, hone it, check fit it until finally it just slides in. So, kind of boring. Well, we got her all honed up. Slides in nice and free. Both ends. So we're good. Now, we're just gonna lube it up a little bit. Start stacking this stuff the way it goes.
Ja, ich mache das all the way through same thing with this one yep it's closing out right there kingpins in got her all greased up threw a little coat of paint on it and there's the disc brake caliper bracket that goes on there so I did that just so I could go ahead and bolt the steering arm right there onto the spindle. So there it is. We should be good. Um, I'm going to go ahead and pack the bearings and put the rotors and everything together with the bearings. And this thing should stop. Yesterday we got the kingpins, new bushings, all that stuff installed. Spindles are on. Everything's greased up, ready to go. And um, we got the caliper brackets on. So now we'll work forward with this disc brake conversion. We're going to go ahead and pack the bearings, throw the seals in. Here we go. There's a little trick I like to do when putting seals in, if you'll pack that inside area with grease, That'll keep that spring from popping out while you're beating on it to get it to pop in there. So, there you go. There's tip of the day. Pop these seals in. Pack the outside bearings and we're ready to put them on. bit of grease on the spindle first wipe it down get it clean and grease it up which is something my wife always laughs at you clean stuff up really really good so you can put grease on it kind of like washing the dishes so you can get them dirty why would you do it or making your bed why would you make your bed you're just gonna get back in it it's ridiculous Absolutely ridiculous. Okay, once you get that on there, you got your bearing and all that stuff. You've got this washer, washer, nut. There's nothing special about this process. The metricals was invented, but nobody used it. Not in America. That'd be a bunch of communist stuff back then. Got a 
change the grease fitting on that bottom setup or else it won't work. If you look here, here let's get you in here so you can see. See that? That's rubbing. We don't want that. So sometimes stuff just goes right together and sometimes it doesn't. So you got to be prepared, especially I've been in this business 30 years in I think this October. So I've seen all kinds of weird stuff, but I've got a couple of old brake legs that I use sporadically. And what I'm going to have to do is I'm going to have to cut this inner edge off a little bit. Probably, I don't know, 30, 40, 50 thousandths of an inch to clear that grease fitting. So we're about to go at it. And I've kind of got this set up unconventionally because this is a drum machine, drums only. But I'm turning this like you would a drum. So I've got a rotor set up in there, which was kind of a little bit weird. It may not run true, but it really doesn't matter because I'm just cutting material off for clearance. It's not like I got to have it totally straight for a wear surface. <laughs> See, that's all we're cutting is that little tiny bit. Here we go, here go the calipers. And these are just a, like a GM style. These are just a, like a GM style, large caliper, large caliper. They were really good. GM just this is probably what we probably have. Motor chassis or one's drop on that So the play heavy and these are all these two calipers. And that's it. And for those of you who the calipers on, somebody want to make sure we place it off. If not, it's done that. And first time you So I'm fixing it. Maybe a guys probably doing it. They've done that. I fixed the problem. I just dropped the calipers inside. Okay, so that wraps that part up. And now, well, you got to put the hoses on. They just go in place of the old hoses uh, that hook to the backing plate. Then we'll put the master cylinder and uh, the booster on there, and you'll have power disc brakes. Ought to stop pretty good. So, nice little upgrade. All right, we're about to find out if this has been a southern car its whole life or if we're going to spend all day placing brake lines. Look at that. Guys in the uh, rust belt are probably cussing at me because this one of those things that you just get ready to go on the Just go ahead and get ready to replace all the because you're going to pull this off. Yes, we'll be ready to go. Yeah, no, no flare wrench. But I'm actually going to have more of a flare wrench than I have. Boom, there it is. We'll pop some of the brake Well, summer's here in Texas. We're 96 degrees today. And mm, end of May. Uh, usually we're not quite this hot by this time, but we've had some really cool weather. But anyways, I'll quit crying. I took this thing apart outside because I didn't want to bog down my shop inside. 
and I had other stuff coming in and out so I did that because I had to send the spindles off get the spindles matched up and they built a brake kit for it so anyways uh, I'm outside working and I've kind of put this one off because it's rained so much and that's not complaining either but keeps you from working outside so here we go I'm gonna pull this clevis right up here off of the uh, off of the for the master so we'll get that popped off of there that's it right there you can see it sort of there we go I'll get that pulled off and then we'll shove this other master in here and booster and bleed the brakes and we're gonna bench bleed the master on the vehicle so we'll get to that in a minute stock master off nothing special regular old master cylinder we got the new one kind of laying there ready to go this is a tight spot with the hood and everything you don't want to stare at my back while i'm putting this in so i'll get it in there that the bracket inside is self-threaded so you just put the bolts in right into that bracket adjust it where the push rod's centered boom tighten it up so that's it all right we got our one-man brake bleeder set up in there to bleed the the master and it's just some hoses that hook up with little plastic fittings and you can buy those kits oh online or from wherever now we're gonna Top her off with fluid. Good deal. Now you just pump that pedal nice and slow. Don't get crazy with it. to get a weird adapter set up for that uh, proportioning valve people who say they like newer or older cars because you can get in there that ain't no joke but I had to get a double adapter I couldn't find anything to go from this 3 16 to half inch so I had to go 3 16 to quarter quarter to half inch so it ain't gonna hurt nothing it's all flare fitting stuff so we should be good Remember, this is old and metric and old and non-metric. So get your standard crescent wrench in inches, not metric and mole meters. tweak the lines around a little bit to make everything line up because originally they both came out of one side now we got that proportioning valve swinging underneath right here so I just went ahead and tweaked the line over a little bit wasn't a big deal had plenty of room and the factory puts these loops into the uh, into the um, lines so they're the same length and again that's not a huge deal but if I tweak them a little bit and I use the same lines and I don't have to cut anything 
Well, guess what? They're still the same length. <clears throat> Yowch. bits because I threaded it in at the parts store. There it goes. All right. Bubbling, bubbling, bubbling. I tell you, why does brake fluid kind of smell like fish? I don't know if any of y'all have noticed it, but I do. I could tell you what most fluids smell and unfortunately taste like in a vehicle. Oh. And some more bubbles from Bubble Bubble Bubble. My bubbles. So that's a wrap on the brakes there. So the place I got it from is called S uh, Speed Shop. SS brakes.com i think is it I'll, I'll put a link in the in the description there and also up here on the screen and paul over there did a great job helping me out getting all the brake parts specced and everything and exactly what i needed um made sure that it, you know i sent him what i what, what he needed for me and then that way we got everything we needed one one shot uh everything that came in yeah i had to do some modifications it's going to be that way depending on the vehicle it's just how it is especially aftermarket changing things from you know different setups i could have gone with a factory brake setup i could have got all the parts but i tell you that those old disc brakes on these things they're just not the best and they're a dual piston setup but just the way they mount and everything they're just kind of problematic they get a little rust on them they stick so i decided to go with this aftermarket with the the proven gm style calipers and all so thanks again paul appreciate your help um everything's on there uh next we'll be putting on um a different belt drive system with power steering we've got a factory power steering gearbox we're going to go with a saginaw pump so we've got that gm proven stuff that and they just use forever quiet reliable and we're also going to go with a sand and compressor and put AC on it. We've got a factory, or not factory, a dealer installed under dash system. So as long as everything works on that, we're going to be in good shape. But that's a wrap on this one. We'll be uh, jumping on the, the, the front drive, power steering, and AC here pretty soon. Stay tuned.
I'm happy to get this one done. I don't have to work outside anymore. I could have pulled it in, but then I would have balked up my shop and all that mess. So I just went this route. There we go.